NASCAR is where some of the best drivers in the world have shown off their skills since 1948. Since its first race on a road course in Daytona Beach, Florida, many years ago, it has become one of the most popular sports leagues in the United States. A great push from the 18 and the 9. William Byron getting shoved out into the lead just momentarily. With expert crews making sure that high-tech cars run at their best on some of the most challenging racetracks ever built. But it's the people inside the cars who make people want to sit in the hot sun for a whole day and watch them drive in circles. So, who are the top 10 greatest elite NASCAR drivers since 2000? Hey NASCAR friends, welcome back to NASCAR Zone. We're back with another interesting video. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 best elite NASCAR drivers in history since 2000. So without further costs, let's go straight to the video. But before we really start with this crazy video, I would like to ask you to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. We start now. We look at the stats and here are the top 10 best elite NASCAR drivers in history since 2000. First on our list is Jimmy Johnson. During the 2000s, Jimmy Johnson was one of the top NASCAR drivers. It's no small feat to have held the championship from 2006 to 2010. During the decade's second half, no one was able to challenge Jimmy's supremacy. Throughout the decade 2000, Johnson, on the other hand, had a significant role in the championship team's success. As it debuted in 2002, he became the first driver to lead the point standings and win both races at the same track in the same season. His record speaks for itself, as he won 10 races in 2007 alone. Throughout his career, Johnson has been one of NASCAR's most successful drivers. Jimmy Johnson remains the man to beat in NASCAR despite Stewart's championship streak ending. So, are you a Jimmy Johnson fan? Next on our list is Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart, who fans call Smoke, has been a big part of NASCAR since the end of the 1990s when he made his first race. Tony did have some success in the 2000s though, as he won the championship in both 2002 and 2005. In 2002, he managed to recover from a disappointing Daytona race result to challenge for the championship at the end of the season. At the end of the season, he moved forward and won the championship. A total of 25 top 10s and 17 top 5s were achieved by him in 2005. Stewart's fiery temper has put him in issues with NASCAR officials, but it has also earned him a fan favorite. Stewart has established himself as one of the most talented drivers of this decade thus far. In 2011, the first year, he was also a team owner. I ran a midget clear back in 2001 or two or something like that, so. He dethroned Jimmy Johnson. Smoke had a promising start to the season in the chase, despite his lack of notable success thus far. Although he started slipping in the standings after winning three races, he still managed to make it into the chase. What NASCAR team does Tony Stewart own? Do let me know in the comments section below. Number three, Kyle Busch. NASCAR driver of the decade Kyle Busch is on his way to becoming one of the greatest drivers in history. He's certainly divisive, and he has just as many detractors as supporters, but there's no denying his talent on the track. In the last 10 years, Kyle Busch has won an average of four races per year. In a Daytona accident in 2015, Busch injured both of his legs and missed the first 11 races of the season. Because of the waiver, Busch was allowed to compete in the playoffs and earn his first NASCAR title. In light of the circumstances, you could say this was Kyle Busch's best year in a decade of incredible achievements. Have you seen his race of 2015? Number 4. Kevin Harvick For much of the last decade, Kevin Harvick has been riding the high of his NASCAR comeback. Harvick began winning again in 2010 after going two seasons without a victory. Kevin Harvick has never skipped a step, even when compared to the most highly ranked drivers. Only two of the past 10 years have seen Harvick finish lower than fifth in the point standings, yet he still has the most top five and top 10 finishes. In 2018, Harvick won eight races and placed in the top 10 in 29. Despite his near-perfect performance, he came in third place in the competition. Even if the title is now determined on a single race, and Harvick has participated in every championship race in this current playoff structure, 
there is something about the need to seal the deal that must be taken into consideration. Although that may be the case, Kevin Harvick has had an incredible decade. Why was Harvick suspended? Please share your answer. Number 5. Jeff Gordon Throughout the 2000s, Gordon was one of the sport's most successful drivers. He won the championship in 2001, with six victories in that year. At first, Gordon and his rivals were neck and neck for the title, but he gradually gained traction and pulled away. It was a 349-point margin of victory for him. Even though he didn't win another championship, Gordon remained a title candidate for the remainder of the decade. While Gordon has appeared at least once in the chase for several years, he has not won a championship since 2001. He may not win another championship this decade, but he is still a capable racer. The only time in this year's season that Gordon needed to make it into the chase following a terrible start to the season, he achieved so by finishing second in the final race before the chase. Gordon was a top driver in the 2000s and is still a good driver in NASCAR today. Number 6. Matt Kenseth In 2003, Matt Kenseth drove to victory for Jack Roush in his first title. Kenseth became Roush's first championship-winning driver after years of trying with Mark Martin and coming within a hair of it four times. Rather than relying on victories, Kenseth maintained a high level of performance throughout time. With just one victory in 2003, he still managed to hold on to the overall lead in points. During the entire year, Kenseth only had two DNFs to his name. More than any other driver since Richard Petty in 1971, Kenseth had a commanding lead in points after 33 of the 36 races in 2003. The Winston sponsor crowned Kenseth as the final champion. In addition, he's the last driver in NASCAR history to win the championship before the chase was instituted. After quickly seizing the lead in the points race and never looking back in 2003, Kenseth was practically unbeatable that year. Throughout the 2000s, he remained a serious contender for the championship and was one of the decade's greatest drivers. Number 7. Brad Keselowski Brad Keselowski's full-time cup career began under challenging circumstances, following a year in which he went from James Finch to Roger Pence. But after his first full season with Team Pence, Keselowski started winning races right away. Keselowski racked up seven multi-win seasons between 2011 and 2019, including a career-high six in 2014. Keselowski won the 2012 NASCAR Cup Series Championship in only his third season with Team Pence. The Razor's remarkable rise is still going on today. Keselowski was propelled to a new level after winning back-to-back -back championship races at Darlington and Indianapolis in 2018. For Brad Keselowski, the next decade might be a dream come true if he can maintain winning and make it to the championship four on a regular basis. Number 8. Kyle Larson Kyle Larson won the NASCAR Cup Series championship in 2021 with a victory at Phoenix Raceway in the title race for the number 500 motorsports Chevrolet. Previously, he raced the number 42 for Chip Ganassi Racing, but the team severed company with him in April of this year. As of 2016, Larson has won 17 NASCAR Cup races and has qualified for the NASCAR playoffs in 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. His first victory for Hendrick Motorsports was at Las Vegas Motor Speedway in March 2021. Two NASCAR All-Star races in 2019 and 2021 went to him. Having won the NASCAR Xfinity Series Rookie of the Year Award in 2013, he was named Sonoka Rookie of the Year in 2014. 12 Xfinity Series victories and two NASCAR Camping World Truck Series victories are Larson's total in NASCAR. Are Kyle Larson and Denny Hamlin friends? What do you think? Number 9. Denny Hamlin Aside from being the best driver without a cup championship, Denny Hamlin has a shot at winning one in the remaining years of his career, unlike legends like Mark Martin and Junior Johnson. Last but not the least, Joey Logano. Logano's first full cup season began at the age of 19, and he even won a rain short race, but his results were sparse. When Logano moved to Team Pence, that's when he started to shine and become one of the best drivers of the decade. When Logano started winning and finishing high in the standings, it happened quickly. 
As a NASCAR Cup Series driver, he was becoming a major player. Logano won half of his races in the decade in 2014 and 2015, including the Victona 500. It's incredible to consider Joey Logano has competed in the NASCAR Cup Series for a decade at the age of just 30. Logano, unlike the majority of the top 10, has the potential to make an impact not only in the 2020s but even in the 2030s if he chooses to continue racing. Why is Joey Logano's nickname Sliced Bread? If you know the answer then do let us know in the comment section below. So this was all about this video. I hope you liked the information given the video. If you have anything in your mind, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get more videos like this. Also, hit the bell icon to get the notification of the latest updates in the channel. Thanks for watching.